up here. I mean, Alex, did you help them line up one? Okay. Boys? Okay, line them up. Now, gentlemen, come this way as I put a hat on you. Come over here. Please? Yes. Come over here. Now, stand over here. Okay. Thank you. You're worried. Can you get that on straight? All right. Okay. Yes, come here. Oh, he's going to be here. Are we ready? Turn around for your strides. And I want to talk to you about ideas people have about God. Now, why you can't make your own God? Turn around, Chase. Gentlemen, stand with your hands by your side. Put your hats on. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, people have some strange ideas about God out there. Some of these ideas are true and some are not. Let's take a look. Some people think God is like a policeman. He's always looking for what you do wrong, going to write out a ticket, and slam you in jail. God's not like that. Some people think that God is like a fireman. And you call 911 every time you're in trouble, and he will come and put out the fires, and he goes back to the fire station. God's not like that. Some people think that God is like the big boss in the sky, and you work, work, work your way to heaven. Is that how you get there? God's not like that. Some people think God's like the dictator. He's telling you what to do every time, and if you don't do what he tells you to do, he's going to shoot you. Is God like that? Nope, God's not like that. Some people think that God is a fool because he is so patient and so kind. But the Bible tells us the real fool is the man who doesn't believe in God. Now, from here down, we have some ideas about God that are actually very, very true. The Bible tells us that God is like the great physician, and he wants to heal your heart. God is like a mother hen, and he wants to gather you under his wings. God, shh, God is like the engineer of a train, and he wants to keep your life on track. He's like the captain of a ship with a crew, and he'll sail you through the rough storms of life. And he is also the judge of the universe. And one day he will come and he will judge all mankind. But the most important hat is missing. Most importantly, <laughs> God is love. And he loved us so much that he sent his only son Jesus to come and to pay the price for our sins. Now, ladies and gentlemen, by the time I count to ten, I want each boy to give your hat to a girl, and I want you to be lined up in the right place. One. Two. He's just there to tell you all, all the things you did wrong and there to be your being friend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like farming, and he's just gonna come to your life and just squirt out all your problems. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a boss, just uh, bossing you around, trying to tell you what to do all the time. Not God. <laughs> all people think God is a dictator. That he's going to. What else for? <laughs> that he's just going to be mean all the time. Some people think God is like a fool. But God is not a fool. I mean, he created you. Think about it. Okay. Some people, well, the, here is what God really is. Some people say that God's like a doctor, which is true. He says he's the great physician. He'll heal your heart. God is like a mother hen. He's just going to take you under his wing. God is like a trained engineer. He's just going to keep your life on track. God's like a... Well, you're not supposed to be there. God is like a uh, captain. He's just going to guide your way through life. God... Judge because one day he's going to judge your life. And God is like.